Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking, um, or rather in this short tutorial series, we've got the get variable, the post variable, and we're also talking about request, which will be something later on when we've understood about forms in general. This first tutorial is going to talk about um, HTML forms, we're going to go sort of back to basics, and how we use them and different elements of them that allow us to process data through PHP and or send data to a page rather. Now I'm going to be using this uh, this example on for the same page but when you do post data you can either post it to the same page that you're on currently or you can post it to another page. Now if you don't understand what I'm talking about that's absolutely fine. I will begin to create my HTML form and I'll explain each element of the form as we go along. We're not actually going to be doing any PHP programming necessarily in this video. Um, okay, so the first thing we do when we specify a form is the start and the end tag of the form. Um, we also specify an action and a method. Now the action is where this form is going to submit when a submit button is clicked. So we include a submit button on our form, this will be inside here a bit later on. Now the first thing we do, like I said, is we, we declare the, um, oh the action, sorry, yeah, we'll do the action first. So in this case, I want the action to link back to this same page, and this page is called index.php, you can see this shown here and up here as well. So we've got form action equals index.php. When a submit button is clicked, the form will then submit any data that is inside of it to this same page. And then we can start to process this data inside our PHP tags. The method can either be get or post, depending on how you're submitting the variables. Now, a little about either of them. Get is basically um, sending the data um, is visible in the URL and it's sending the variables um, through a, the format of the URL. Post sends data through the HTTP post method. So they're slightly different. I'm not going to talk about them quite yet, but I'm going to use get just uh, to show you an example uh, in this um, in this tutorial. So what do we want to do first? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enter um, some input fields. So I'm going to say uh, day and I'm going to create an input type or an input tag so on its own it would look like this and the type is going to be text. The name of it is essentially what you're naming it in regard to a variable. This will be submitted and we can pick it up using the collection of get variables which is almost like an associative array. So the name of this I'm going to call is day. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down and I'm going to say um, date input type equals text name equals date so we're calling it something different we're breaking down again and we're saying uh, year so input type equals text name equals year we break down a couple more times just to keep everything neat and I'm gonna create a button and in fact let's just see how this looks at the moment let's refresh okay so we've got day date and year in actual fact just to make things a bit tidier, I'm going to break in between each one of these as well. So that is looking like that. So we've essentially created our form already. We just need a button, like I said earlier, down here, and that's input type of submit, and the value of that is what dis what is is what is displayed. So if I get rid of this um, here and I refresh, you can see it says just says submit. Um, some browsers it will default to submit request but I can specify anything here uh, you can see that that will just um, create it to look like any oh, well it will create with the capitalized text anything so I'm just going to call this submit okay so now what's going to happen is if you watch um, by default my browser doesn't show the index.php page in its URL however if I was to click on submit like I said earlier we've just supplied the action of this form to go to index.php so when I click on it you'll notice the 
URL up here changes and we've also included a few variables we've got day date and the year so the way this works is after the page name itself which is here in blue we have a question mark and after this we specify our variables so the name of the variable is day and that is equal to something at the moment it's nothing and then we say and with an ampersand symbol we say date is equal to something here at the moment it's equal to nothing and then again the year is equal to something here which at the moment is equal to nothing so if for example I type Monday I type 31st and I type 2011 and I click submit if you look up the top of the page you can see that the URL has changed and in actual fact the date is equal to Monday date is equal to 31st and the year is equal to 2011 so now we have submitted what's called get variables through PHP using a form um, so that's how to create a form and submit them however we want to actually do something with them now in the next tutorial we're going to be looking at get um, variables and how we should use them and why we should use them and then in the other tutorial we're going to look at post variables and again the same how we use them why we use them so um, this has been basically how to create the form and submitting the variables um, and so we can use them eventually in PHP.